So in this video, I wrote down 10 questions that I've gotten on YouTube and also some popular questions that I used to get asked all the time on Twitch whenever I was playing Battlefront. And I thought I would make it into a video, so let's jump right into it. Question number one. What was the best secondary fire shot you ever landed? Well, I've hit a 9-piece and a 5-piece before, but in terms of a single kill... I really like the one where I killed an aircraft with it. Question number two, is Bosk the hero you feel the best with out of all the heroes and villains? Actually, I think I'm better with the filthy beast, Chewbacca. Uh, sure, it is easier with Bosk to get 100 kills, but I've had a lot of 100 kill games with Chewie too, and he's fun to play as. Number three, did you set any settings or controls differently? My sound settings for in-game audio, that was different. I mix those up every once in a while. The second thing I did differently was my sensitivity. I've always had it maxed out on any game I've played. Battlefront, it was always at 100%. And same with Call of Duty and Counter-Strike and Battlefield 1. I play on max sensitivity on all available options. I've always been comfortable with it, so... And the third thing, and probably the biggest thing, was I played with aim assist off. So basically, with all of that, the way I've always looked at it is you can't do what 99 out of 100 people are doing, no matter what they're saying. You have to change things up and take the harder option. In order to separate yourself from the crowd, you have to go against what everyone else is doing sometimes. So that helped me become a better player. Moving on to question number four, what is your favorite top three heroes or villains on the game? Chewy, Bosk, and then I will say Luke, because I like being aggressive and running around. Question number five, why didn't you ever play in Pro Battlefront? Well, because Pro Battlefront was a joke. It wasn't even pro players, it was just random people playing in a private match that never played in a real league before. And Battlefront is mainly a third-person game, so it was literally just a bunch of three peaking corner campers everywhere on top of that everyone used the same loadout and the same two guns over and over that took no skill obviously so i i didn't want to be a part of that question number six what is your favorite gun besides the tl50 for me my second favorite gun has always been the sc14c i'm a close range fighter man i love those close range and mid-range weapons that's always been me on any shooter game for the most part. Question number seven, will you ever go to Battlefront 2017? I have played it if you did not know that. I probably won't go back to it. I was good at it, but it was a waste of $85 for me. That game pretty much killed the Battlefront series. It's not even worth talking about anymore because of all the glitches, unfortunately. Number eight, why did I start using the heavy repeater? I always wanted to try it out after I saw a few people using it when the Death Star DLC was released. I actually did not get it for quite a while though because I didn't want to give EA $50 for the season pass. So I didn't get a chance to use it until I got the season pass for 10 bucks after the DLC Scarif was released. So it was probably the best 10 bucks I ever spent. And still to this day, Secondary Fire, it's my favorite thing on the game. It's the best way to kill corner campers that never gets old. Number nine, is there anybody on YouTube that I don't like or that I don't like watching when it comes to Battlefront? Um, yeah. Anybody that used the EE3 and Bodyguard. So, like, 95% of the people out there. Uh, but if I had to pick one... I never wanted to watch. It was Rogue Potatoes for that exact reason, plus a couple of other things that I won't get into. But I will say, and this kind of goes back to the TL50 questions, I remember watching one of his videos where he was trying to hit over 100 kills, which is somewhat easy to do when you are using a douchebag loadout, by the way. But I remember watching part of the video and I looked at the comment section, a few people were saying, quote, It's getting old seeing everyone use the same gun and loadout. 
And then I saw a few more people saying that they hated the EE3 and bodyguard players. So I said, you know what? I'm going to do everything I can to be a better player and different from this guy and his play style from everybody. And I'm just going to be aggressive as hell in that process. And it ended up working out for me. I started using the TL50 and had a lot of fun with it. Number 10, the last question, what is my favorite Battlefront YouTuber? Yeah, so the one guy that I liked watching was Velo Raptor. Velo was my favorite because he was one of the few players that I respected the most when it came to his play style. And not to mention, he was one of the best to ever play the game. And probably the only PS4 player I can name or that's worth mentioning from what I've seen. He was kind of like me when it came to being a decent pilot, great with any hero, and he was a good infantry player. He was great at all three phases of the game. You don't see that very often. And he didn't have to use the overpowered cheap bullshit in the game either. He did once in a while, but he mixed things up, which I really liked. And I, I wish he didn't give up on the game so fast. He was fun to watch, but yeah, that's some of the more popular questions I've gotten over time, guys. Thanks for checking this out. Hit the like button or I'm going to delete your EA account. See ya.